So remember we used this formula to apply the chi-square test for a contingency table in which we calculated the expected value by using this rule. Now what we are going to do is that we are going to use our TI-84 calculator to automate the calculations in this process. So let us take an example here that is uh, say we are going to test if there is a difference between the percentage of patients who would not have relapse of uh, this heartburn severity at night time I meant among the users of the 10 milligram of medication, 20 milligram of medication and the placebo that is the dummy pill at the week 52 of the usage. Okay, so this is the test that we want to do by using this uh, chi-square procedure and instead of using the formula what we are going to do is that we are going to let the TI-84 calculator do all the calculation. So for this test my null will be what? Again hypothesis of no difference that is the percentage of patients without relapse would be the same among the three populations and the alternative is that they will be different okay now what I did was that I pulled up this data from SFX prescribing information so say let's say ideally think that we were going to do this hypothesis test and here's the data that we got okay all right so in the data you can see the percentages are different so we want to see if the percentages are significantly different different and uh, uh, let's set say 5% level of significance for our test all right so again this is my null this is the alternative and we are going to use the chi-square test and uh, so in the chi-square test what we will do is that we are going to look at a table filled in you know from the information from the data that is in here 67 out of 80 patients in the 10 mg group uh, or 10 milligram group did not have relapse so 67 did not so 80 minus 67 this is 67 over 80 so 80 minus 67 is 13 then 79 out of 87 in here did not have relapse so 87 minus 79 would be what? 8. So 8 did have relapse and among the placebo people uh, there are 87 total. 64 did have did not have relapse and 87 minus 64 would be what? 23. So 23 did have relapse. So so what we have is that these are our observed counts okay of the you know number of people without relapse among the different groups okay now what we are going to do now is that if null is true that is if the null is true then we are going to look for what the expected counts okay so that is the expected counts in these cells in case the null is correct okay so instead of using the formula what we are going to do is that we are going to uh, fill this table by using the TI-84 calculator okay so let's get our TI-84 calculate. So the way we will give these values to the calculator is this that we are going to treat uh, this table as a 2 by 3 matrix that is 2 rows and 3 columns okay so let's see let's go to matrix and here is matrix alright so and then we are going to edit the matrix all right so we will edit the matrix a and put our data in there okay so we are going to put our observed counts in the matrix a as i just said 
So when I ask to edit this, it's asking me for the dimensions and it's just a coincidence that we have we need two rows and three columns and it already has two rows and three columns. But if not, then we can just go ahead and change it. So let's quickly fill out our values. Okay, so 79, 64, then we got 13, then we got 8, and then we have 23, right? So now we are going to quit out of it, okay? Now, if the null is true, then we would like to get the expected values by using the uh, chi-square formula, but again, we are letting this uh, calculator do the arithmetic for us, okay? So let's go for this, okay? And uh, here we go, we are looking at chi-square test. So we'll tell it that the observed values are in A, and let's say it should give us the expected values in, uh, in B, okay? And I shall show you B in a moment. That is, we do have expected values in B, or let's check it out anyways. Okay, that is, uh, let's see, so if we print B, then here are the expected values, that is, they are instead of 67, my counts are lower, right? And then uh, we can go ahead and see that instead of uh, 79, the value here is about 72. So we can fill all that out or let's just get our statistic and p-value at the moment and then you can do that at your own leisure and also it's a good idea to use the chi-square formula just to get a feel of how each cell is contributing to the chi-square value so anyways so here we go okay that uh, the chi-square statistic is 9.12 uh, approximately and our p-value is about 0 0.01, right? Okay, and uh, so what it means that since we had set 5% level of significance, we will reject the null because the p-value is less than 0 0.05.